All right, let's look at some Khan Academy problems here. So let's take a look. We have uh, find cosine of, this is alpha, it's a common um, abbreviation used for some unknown angle, right? So it's like a variable for an angle or an unknown angle. Here we have alpha, right, right there. So if we knew what alpha was, we could punch it into the calculator and we could find out exactly what cosine is for that. I mean, there's, just, there's a button for cosine. Um, but we don't know the angle, but we do know the side lengths, and so we could figure out, we know what the relationships between the sides are, right? 20 to 29, 20 to 21, 21 to 29, right? We know those relationships, and so any other triangle that has this alpha angle will have those same relationships, but, you know, maybe it might be 40 to 42, or 60 to 63, or something like that, right? Bigger sides, but the same relationship between them. Right, so cosine, got to look at what that one is. So let's take a look here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's the relationship between the side that's adjacent. And adjacent means it's next to the angle, right? It's part of the angle, the part, of course, that isn't the hypotenuse, right? So adjacent to hypotenuse, the relationship between adjacent and hypotenuse. So we'll go back and look at our triangle here. And adjacent is 21, so that's the side that's right next to the angle. And the hypotenuse, let me draw in here. Let's see if it will. All right. Yep. So there's adjacent, it's right next to the angle. And then we have, uh, let's see, hypotenuse. That's the long side directly across the right angle. So it's 21 over 29. Look here, there it is, 21 over 29. Okay, next. We, just want, we want to find tangent of alpha. So here's alpha, right? And again, we don't know what alpha was. If we knew, we could look it up in the calculator. We could say, well, let's punch it in tangent of whatever that angle is. I punch it into the calculator. It would give me a number. Okay? But in this case, I know what the three side lengths are. And so I know what the relationships between them are. This is, you know, 21 to 20, 29 to 21. Um, and I know that for any other triangle that has this angle in it, it's going to have the same relationships. The sides might be bigger, you know, 40 to 42, 60 to 63, whatever. Uh, they might be bigger, they could be smaller, but they're going to have the same relationship, right? the same ratio between the side lengths. But here we want to find which one of these uh, um, relationships or ratios tangent of this angle is. So let me go back and take a look here. Tangent is... Uh, opposite over adjacent, right? So that's opposite. The side opposite is the one that I have to travel to get to, right? It's across the triangle. It's the side that is not actually a part of the angle, right? I have to travel across to the opposite side. If I'm stuck in this corner, it's like I'm looking down on a room. There's somebody stuck in this corner. They're looking out to the opposite wall, right? A weird triangle shaped room opposite the angle. Uh, opposite over adjacent, and adjacent is, of course, again, the side that's right next to the angle. It's a part of the angle. The side, of course, is part of the angle, but not the hypotenuse, right? Adjacent, next to. So, opposite over adjacent. Let's go back take a look here. Uh, there we go. So, the side that is opposite here. So, I'm going to travel across to get to the side opposite, and it's down here, 21. And then the side that's adjacent, well, oh, oh, wrong direction. That's the hypotenuse. It's over here. All right. 21 over 20. So let's take a look. 20. Yep, there are 21 over 20. All right. Next up, we're trying to find sine of, and this is a, this is like B looking like thing. That's beta. All right. Again, that's just another um, common variable used for an unknown angle. The Greek letter beta. We want to find what is sine of beta. All right, so let's go back here and take a look. What is sine? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So again, if I know the angle, the side that's opposite that angle is the side that's on the other side of the triangle. It's opposite that angle. It's the side that is not a part of the angle. It's not a side of the angle. It's across from the angle. Right? So if this is our unknown angle, the side opposite is over here. Opposite over hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is just the long side, the side that is, you know, across from the, the right angle. Okay, so let's go take a look. 
So there is our beta angle. So opposite this, we travel through the triangle to the opposite side. We get to this 12 over here. And the side that is the... Oh, goodness sakes, where did that come from? And the hypotenuse is the, uh, the long side over here. So that's 13. So 12 over 13. So that's that relationship between those two sides. If I'd make this triangle bigger or smaller, um, it would... As long as it has this angle, whatever that angle is, as long as it has that angle, I make it bigger, I make it smaller, um, this relationship 12 to 13 will stay the same. So maybe it's uh, 24 to uh, 26, or maybe it's 36 to 39, right? Maybe they're twice as long, or they're three times as long, or maybe they're half as long, 6 to 6.5, right? Um, whatever it is, that relationship stays the same, right? 12 to 13. Let's see here. And there it is. Okay. Let's do one more. All right. So we want to find out what is cosine. So I think we've done everything by now. Cosine of this angle B right here. So cosine, we'll take a look at our, our list here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So there's our angle. Adjacent is the side that's right next to the angle. It's a part of the angle, right? But of course not the hypotenuse. It's the, the other side that makes up the other side of the angle. Adjacent over hypotenuse, and hypotenuse, of course, is the long side of the right triangle. So let's go back here. So it's the relationship between. So let's take a look. The side that is adjacent the angle. So if I start from that corner and I just travel along the edge of the triangle, that's the side adjacent. Of course, if I find myself going the other direction, that's the hypotenuse, right? hypotenuse so if i travel down the angle and i'm i'm either going down the hypotenuse or i'm going down the side that's adjacent right, so here we have the adjacent side is three units and the hypotenuse is five so the relationship is three to five which you write as a fraction three over five okay all right so there's some uh, examples for you again just go back you might want to you might want to write this down or you can look it up at any time. I mean, this, is, this information is all over the internet. Uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's the relationship between opposite and hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. And of course, you want to be really careful here because you just want to remember that opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse um, relate to the angle, right? So when you actually get values for these, like numbers for them, if you want to specifically say what that relationship is, it's always based on this angle. And the examples we looked at, we didn't know what the angle was, but it, it was based on that angle. And so that's the important part, is that because I take that triangle, I make it bigger, I make it smaller, but that angle will always stay the same, and the relationships between the side lengths will stay the same. If it's twice as tall as it is wide, I shrink it down and make it big, the angle stays the same, but that relationship, twice as tall as it is wide, always, always stays the same. So, all right. Good luck with that.